where you guys are. I was just looking for you. I'm so glad I found everyone. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah and welcome to the Local Kids Minute. Um, this is our segment for kids that we do during our Sunday liturgies here at the local church. So kids, go ahead and gather around for just a minute. And today, what I want you guys to do is I want you to think a minute about how your life has been different since we've all stayed home. We've all had to just stay and live in our homes because of um, things happening in the world. But I want you to think what life is like. Do you do you love being at home all the time? Do you do you feel sad? What are some new things that you're doing? And what are some things? Is there anything that you miss about life before when we were all out of our homes and going to school and doing those things? So today, Pastor Brent is going to be talking about some of Jesus' disciples and how they had a new life, just like we are living in a new life right now. And they had a new life after Jesus went back to heaven. Okay, And at first, they were really scared, and they thought they were all alone. I wonder if you've ever felt that. You felt alone. But then they learned that Jesus is always with them. And guess what? He is always with you. Can you say that after me? Jesus is always with me. Good. So now, can you see Jesus sitting next to you? Is he sitting next to me? No, I don't. I don't see him either. But even though he's not here and we can't see him with our eyes, his spirit is in our hearts and will be there forever. Put your hand on your heart, right? Jesus is right there. Now, there are a couple of things that we can do to remind us of God's spirit, even though we can't see God's spirit, right? One thing we do is, and we do this at church sometimes, we can light a candle, right? We can light this nice candle, and it reminds us that Jesus is here and that his spirit's with us, okay? Another thing we can do is we can read our Bible, right? Or we can read other books or stories, um, and we can learn more about Jesus, which is an awesome thing. Now, another thing we can do is we can just be with other people, being with your family or your friends. And I have somebody here, oh, maybe... I've got somebody here who's trying to get our kitty cat in too. I love being with my family because I can see Jesus in other people. Did you know that? Other people that love and care about us, we can see Jesus in them. And sometimes what I do is I close my eyes and I just breathe in and out. And that reminds me that the Spirit of God is with me. Try that for a minute. Just close your eyes. Breathe in and out. Just remember that Jesus is with you. And I want to encourage you all to really get to know Jesus and how much he loves you. Do you know how much he loves you? Now, just a minute ago, I was using my binoculars and looking for you guys. And Jesus does that too. He loves you so much that he searches out for you no matter where you are. And he always finds you to keep you safe like a good shepherd would do for his sheep. All right. Jesus, thank you so much for giving us your spirit. Thank you for taking care of us. And thank you for Jesus. Thank you for being our good shepherd. Thank you guys for listening in and praying with me. Um, as we wrap up today, I want to remind parents and families that there are more kids' resources you can use today or this week that are posted with our Sunday liturgy in the local church virtual folder. Thanks for listening, guys. Have a great rest of your day. Bye!